avoid using the word we in fact that is going to scare the interviewer whenever you are giving an interview you have to avoid showing that you are over aspirational or you are over ambitious the growth path here in germany is not that great you need to make sure that you give a very specific clear honest answer if you are coming across as an over ambitious person in an interview here in germany and that's when you need to have a clear answer for every job change that you have done in your life Hi everybody welcome to my channel Goodpreet in Germany and in today's video we are going to discuss what you should avoid saying in an interview process here in Germany first of all getting an interview call here in Germany can be a big task and once you get these interview calls then clearing those interview rounds can also be a very overwhelming task for you and most of the times it can also happen that you're getting rejections but you do not know where did you go wrong As per you you gave all the right answers but still the interview is not getting cleared. Well the main reason of this is that there is a difference. There is a difference between the communication style, the culture between your home country and that here in Germany. And it's very important for us to understand that difference in culture, in communication style so that we can clear our next interview. and in this particular video i am going to tell you few important tips or few important conversation or communication style that you should avoid saying when you are giving an interview here in germany i am gurpreet i am a lead hr here i recruit lot of candidates i interview lot of candidates and not only that even i have given lot of interviews here in germany and after giving so many interviews i realized where i was going wrong and when i take interviews here in germany i realize where candidates are going wrong and what they should completely avoid saying here in germany so in case if you are looking for your next job here in germany then this is going to be a very useful video for you that is what you should avoid saying in an interview round here in germany very short tips with very practical examples i'm sure that's going to help you before we get started please remember if you are getting lot of rejections you are applying for lot of jobs but you are getting lot of rejections email then the only reason that is happening is because you do not have a right cv if you have a right cv you will start getting interview calls and if you are getting rejected after the interview that means you are not performing well in the interview but if you are not even getting the interview calls that means you do not have a right cv so watch this video until the end because i'm going to share a tip with you on how can you create a perfect cv in case if you're looking for a job here in germany however let's get started and understand what are the different topics or the communication style that you should avoid here in germany in case if you're looking for a job the very first thing that you should avoid saying here in germany when you're giving an interview is avoid using the word we yes it will come as a shocker for you you know what do you mean by we very simple example when we are giving an interview and if you are working with a team or with the project team or even if you are in a manager role or a lead role and when a question is asked to you what did you do in this project so most of the time by default especially if you are coming from india that is what happens to me as well by default the answer starts with this project was related to so and so topic and we as a team performed these tasks and we achieved all this in certain time so always we talk using the word we because this project was with the team and not only that now that i was acting as a manager and i had a team so i always explain them that we because a manager's task is only performed with the team however avoid using the word we i i learned this in a hard way here in germany they are not interested to know what you did as a team they are interested to know what did you do in that project so there it is very important to frame your sentences with i say for example you have to say i performed this task along with my team and i achieved so much success 
So basically, everything that you say you need to use in the word I because they are interested to know what did you do, what did you achieve in the project, what was your roles and responsibility. They are interested to know you and not as a team. Most of the times, if you use the word we, they will interrupt you and they will ask you, but what was your task? What did you perform? So this is a very useful tip for you. If you're giving an interview here in Germany, rephrase all your sentences with I rather than we. I hope that helps. Second tip here in Germany is be very direct in your communication style. You might have heard this many times. Germans are very direct. They like straightforward communication. Sometimes so much straightforward that even a yes or no will do the work. You, you do not have to get into a lot of details. But what is important is be very direct in your communication and stop beating around the bush. For example, if they ask you a question and you do not have an answer to that question, it would be easier for you to say, I'm sorry, I'm not aware of this or I'm sorry, I don't remember this rather than trying to beat around the bush and trying to overcomplicate that sentence. And that is not something that here in Germany people appreciate. They are super, super direct when it comes to their communication style. Even when they are giving you any job or any task, they are going to clearly mention what is expected by you. So it's very important for you to have direct communication, straightforward communication, and do not feel very emotional about the communication. It's okay for you to say no. It's okay for you to say yes. It is also okay to give us very direct salary expectations. But do not try to get emotional in that conversation. Be as straightforward, as direct as you can be. That is something that people here in Germany, they appreciate. And not that they are going to think that you are a rude candidate. In fact, that is something that's going to show them that it will be easier for them to work with you because even you have a direct communication style just like them. So the second tip is be as direct as possible when it comes to the communication style. Third tip for you is in case if you're giving an interview here in Germany, the most important questions that are going to be asked to you, no matter whichever company you join, how many interviews you are giving, there are two questions which are going to be there in your interview round. One is, why do you want to join us? Why this company? And that is a very important question. And the second is, say if you're not in Germany and you're looking to relocate to Germany, then they will ask you, why do you want to come to Germany? So this why of why do you want to join this company and why do you want to come to Germany do not give a vague answer. Do not give a very random answer. Be as specific as you can get with respect to that company. For example, say if you're applying for a company in a finance domain and if they ask you why do you want to join our company, then you have to research about that company and then you have to say, I want to join your company because your goal is so and so and I am really motivated about this goal. That's why I want to join your company and not any other company. So basically your answer should be as specific as related to that company. That's why I always say this, research about the company as much as you can. Everybody likes here the specific answers you know do not say say for example if you have been asked why do you want to move to germany do not give an answer you know what i'm open to go to any country i'm applying for different countries and wherever i get a job i'm going to go there that's going to give you a rejection for sure in case if they are asking you why do you want to join our company and again you give this answer i'm open for any company i'm open for any role and uh, it I, wherever i get the job i'm going to join again that's going to give you a rejection if you have applied to a company they personally feel that you've applied to their company because you like certain motivation in that company and that's why you have applied for that role so it's very important for you to be specific for this answer. 
why do you want to join our company very very specific to their motive their goal and give your answer in that way do not give a vague answer that i'm ready to join any company i'm ready to go to any country just get me out of here that's not going to help you for sure so be as specific as you can fourth thing that you should avoid saying here is say in case if you are asked what are your salary expectations then do not say i don't know do not say that i am new to this country i am not aware of the salary i am not aware of the taxation system so i don't know what salary i should ask for that does not give a very good impression yes you might not know certain details of this country but you have still chosen to apply for a job in this country so now it's your responsibility to do certain research and then give them a range or a specific number remember i told you germans like when you are direct and when you give specific answers anything that says i don't know i'm not sure about it that shows a very uncertainty from your end and that also shows that maybe you know you are going to take this job right now and then after coming here you realize that this is uh, you are getting paid less or this is not the right thing then you will just use this company to move around so it's very important to give specific answers do a research about the salary do a research about the company and then give them a specific number or a specific range how do you do the research about the salary i have created this video where i also discuss about the average salaries that you get in germany which is going to give you a lot of information but the fourth tip is when you they ask you what are your salary expectations do not say i don't know that does not give a good impression about you let's go to the next tip. the next tip here is when they ask you do you have any questions the hr will ask you the hiring manager will ask you in every interview round maybe they might ask you do you have any specific questions now this is a chance for you to show how motivated you are to join this company and what are your aspirations however you have to be very clear here now this is a chance for you to show your motivation to join that company do not have no questions always ask one or two questions but do not get into operational or admin type questions what is the percentage hike that you get here what is the salary that i am going to get here no ask questions about your role ask questions about the work culture ask questions about the company's growth say for example you can always ask what is the company's uh, growth plan for next two years or what is the work culture here work environment here and then you can also ask that what is expected from me uh, for this particular role these are some good questions to ask but basically whenever you've been asked do you have any questions don't say no i don't have any questions always end up asking a question that shows that you are really excited and you are really eager to know about the company and that's why you are asking these questions so use that opportunity in your favor the next very important tip for you is whenever you are giving an interview you have to avoid showing that you are over aspirational or you are over ambitious trust me that's not going to work here in germany that might work very well for you in your other uh, home countries but here i'm sorry to say that's not going to give you a lot of brownie points in fact that is going to scare the interviewer that they might not be able to meet your aspirations your ambitions here in germany let me explain you why the growth part here in germany is not that great you know in the recent interview with the hiring manager one of the hiring managers uh, which i have posted you can watch this video we clearly discuss that one place where germany can upgrade or modify themselves is the growth path that they have for the employees in the company after certain experience so the promotion here does not happen that quickly the growth path becomes stagnant after certain point and there are people who work in the same company for more than 5 years 10 years as well so the average stint here in the company is 5 years 
so once you say that you're over ambitious and you want to achieve you want to be a vp in next 5 years you are going to scare the interviewer and the interviewer is going to feel we cannot give you that uh in next 5 years and if we and if you're not looking to stick with us for next 5 years then this is not a right place for you so basically if you are being over ambitious then that's not going to work for you here in germany you have to be very careful in showing your aspirations you do not have to show that you would be okay in the same role for years together but at the same time you do not have to be over ambitious and over aspirational in your interview process as i said not every company can provide you that growth path what you can get back in your home country so be very very careful in this definitely you can get rejected if you are coming across as a over ambitious person in an interview here in germany now let's go to the next tip the next tip is again related to the previous tip which is that don't be over ambitious that also comes to the stability part of it say for example you are a candidate who have had lot of jumps in your uh, entire career and after 2 years 1 year you have shifted your companies and your resume says that then you are going to definitely get drilled down on why have you changed your company so often and that's when you need to have a clear answer for every job change that you have done in your life it's very important for you to give a reason that is more convincing rather than saying something that shows the interviewer that you are not a stable candidate for example don't say things like the work culture was toxic i was not seeing any growth in that particular role the the company was not that great these are not good examples to give rather you should give an explanation which can you know uh, be more convincing for example if there was a role mismatch you can give that reason for example if the company was not performing that great and was going through the hard times uh, and uh, the projects were getting closed then you can give that example but what is important is that in case if you've had lot of switches in your resume then those are the questions that are going to get asked and you need to make sure that you give a very specific clear honest answer without being negative so that's important and finally the last tip in case if you are looking uh, to interview here in germany is you can be a person who is very creative and who has lot of skills you also perform your technical skills but along with that you also do all other things and you have mentioned that in your resume which is fine say for example if i have to give my example definitely my resume will be what my technical skills with related to recruitment and a higher people but somewhere in the resume i'll also mention that i'm also a content creator and i create videos and stuff like that it's upon me uh, i would mention that just because that's an extra skill that i have but here in germany what you need to avoid is you need to avoid focusing on your extra skills while you're giving an interview please remember they are not hiring you for the extra skill that you are having they are hiring you for the job role so your answers your explanation should be on the job role that they are hiring for and do not come across a person who is super multi talented and who is going to do lot of other things and that is going to again scare them that maybe you will not focus on the job role that they want you to focus on you'll focus on all these other things again they are very specific for every job role they have a person who is going to perform a task one person is not going to get involved into a lot of different tasks so that is why they want somebody for this role who will do this task and not somebody who is a uh, jack of all trades you know that doesn't really work great here in germany so all your multi talented skills should be something that you do not over speak about it in an interview process in germany you can still have them you can still pursue them but it's when it comes to the interview process stick to the job role that you are applying or interviewing for that is super super important here in germany so i hope these tips will help you clear your next interview round here in germany and as i said most importantly what is needed is 
for you to have a perfect CV in case if you want interview calls. And for that perfect CV, I have created this course. This course is very specific in case if you're looking for a job here in Germany. So go ahead and take this course. This two hours of course is going to change your entire outlook of how do you create a CV to get the interview calls here in Germany. And it's really, really going to help you to get your next interview call. And in case if you're somebody who do not want to go through the course and who wants to talk to me directly and wants me to give you a personalized feedback on your CV, then definitely you can do that as well. You can uh, go ahead and book my slot and I'll be more than happy to help you for your CV, your role, according to your experience. In case if you have any questions related to Germany or recruitment, you can contact me. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram where I keep posting a lot of different job roles that I keep hiring for or people keep hiring for here in Germany. I hope this video is going to help you. Keep watching. And remember, in all this, you need to be happy, you need to be healthy, because that is super, super important. Thank you so much. I'm Good Breathe in Germany, and I'm going to see you soon again. Bye.